welcome to my channel. Today we're going to ink on apron using the Chocotour inks and the Chocotour transfers. And I'm going to show you how simple it is. So the first thing you do is you smooth out the apron or whatever you're going to be inking onto the Chocotour sticky mat. That helps keep the fabric in place so it doesn't move around on you. And then you're going to get your transfer and it's really important to make sure that you smooth it out really well so that you don't have any air pockets or any ink could bleed through your transfer so just make sure you smooth it on real really good there okay then you're going to get your ink today i'm using the teal chocotour ink and you just give it a little mix and with the, with the inks it's, uh, you have a lot more time to play with it because it takes a lot longer to dry than the chalk. So you have time to get it all in really good. You don't have to rush. Make sure you get all the little um, images in there. Smooth it on really good and then wipe it off and put it right back in the jar so you don't have any waste. Just scrape it all off there. Okay, and then once you're done with that, very carefully, you can peel either from the, the two tops to the bottom or to the side. Never diagonal, because you could smear your image, and you don't want a chance getting your transfer stuck to itself, because it's really hard to unstick it. <laughs> so you're left with this beautiful image. Um, you, you remove it from the mat and you're going to let it dry for a little bit. You just let it air dry or you can get a blow dryer or heat gun to speed up the process because you want it nice and dry before you iron it to set it permanently. So we're going to put that off to the side and then we're going to clean our mat with a disinfectant wipe, just any regular Lysol wipe. Um, and you make sure you clean it really well because you don't want any of that ink to transfer on to any other um, projects you might be working on. And always make sure your hands are clean when you're working with your fabrics and that you don't have any ink on your hands that could chance transferring on to your project because it won't come off. It'll be stuck there. <laughs> so just clean it really good. We're gonna set that off to the side and when we're done and I'm gonna preheat the easy press. I use an easy press um, because one, I already had one because I do a lot of um, Cricut work. Um, I do a lot of iron-ons and things like that. Um, so I already had the easy press, but you can use a regular iron. Just make sure you get it really hot. Um, you want it to be 330 degrees and uh, for 30 seconds. So you're going to put a piece of parchment paper, very important, down and then you just press it for 30 seconds and you're going to be left with permanent image. You can wash your apron, your shirt, whatever it is that you're working on and you don't have to worry about it falling off. And what's good about the Chocotour inks um, versus Cricut is the iron-on vinyl. It peels um, sometimes you burn it when you're ironing it. I've done that many times. Um, but I don't have to worry about it fading or cracking. It's permanent and it's soft to the touch. You don't have any bumps or lifts or anything like that like you do with the iron-on vinyl. So I'm really enjoying this Chocotour ink and the chalks. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So here's how it looks when you're done. And it's a perfect gift for your favorite crafter. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Till next time, have a great night.